when you were on the ground, what did people tell you? Right? So uh, they told us uh, a story that would be familiar to anyone who reported unembedded from Iraq in 2007. The two reporters arrived, uh, and immediately a crowd gathered. Uh, I mean, any time we got out in a neighborhood, it was so rare for reporters to even leave the green zone then that a crowd of people would gather to try to try to find any way to communicate with an outside world that they thought had ignored them. So a crowd gathered around them. They were taking them around, trying to show them things to photograph. People on scene said they were complaining about the lack of electricity, water, cooking gas, the, the normal things that plagued all Iraqis in Baghdad at the time. Um, and, then, uh, and then what you can see clearly in the video, they were open fire on by, from, by this Apache. Uh, the, we interviewed people who, were, uh, um, who saw the van come up. And um, the, uh, the, the driver of the van saw a wounded person there. Uh, ran out to get him to try to rush him to a hospital with two children clearly visible in the front seat. They opened up and took out the van. Um, one thing that you don't see in the video that was in the interviews that I just went back and reviewed that we shot on the scene is uh, they say that uh, w there was one man in the van who survived and was crawling away from the van afterwards. And the Bradleys, uh, when they drove through, drove him over and cut him in half and killed him. So you see in the, in the video from the Apache, in the WikiLeaks video, uh, you see Bradley drive over someone, and the and the the helicopter pilots sort of ch have a little chuckle about it. Uh, that man, according to the the witnesses who were there, said it was alive.